included in Tuesday's witnesses, Sharon Alamo, the woman many believe to be Tony's legal wife. Are you glad this is almost over? However, she testified in cross-examination that the two were never legally married, even though they exchanged vows, wedding bands, and she changed her last name. Alamo also testified that during a 20-year period between 1989 and 2009, as many as 13 girls lived with the defendant. She also noted that as the years went on, the ages of the girls became progressively younger. One was as young as eight. I thought she was incredibly honest. Also called to the stand, longtime Alamo companion Angela Morales and Jennifer Colbeck, the wife of Alamo member and fugitive John Colbeck. He's wanted by police as Tony Alamo's alleged enforcer. The couple has been in hiding for several months with their four underage children. Miss Colbeck told jurors to, quote, avoid harassment. Shortly after leaving the courthouse, Colbeck was served with a removal order, meaning she could be arrested if she doesn't reveal the whereabouts of her children. Hey, that seemed like a sort of a disruption mid-court this afternoon. Uh, it was. Yeah, but I'm going to keep that to myself. All eyes will be on the federal courthouse Wednesday morning to see if Tony Alamo takes the stand himself. Philip Kuhn says that Alamo told them he'd think about it overnight and then let them know in the morning. We asked Alamo the same question as he left the courthouse Tuesday. He said his attorneys told him not to bother because he'd already won. In Texarkana, Charles Krausen, Today's THV. During cross-examination, Sharon Alamo said she didn't know if any of the 13 girls who lived with Alamo were married to the evangelist, but did confirm she saw all of them wearing wedding rings. You can follow Charles Krausen's coverage of the trial on todaystv.com and Twitter.